Hello guys and welcome to the long awaited and finally updated Defection Farming Strategy Guide. As requested by a lot of you on my original video, which I'm generally very uh, surprised about because I wasn't expecting such positive feedback regarding that video that I made sort of, you know, out of the blue, but I'm not complaining. So, to get it out of the way, this uh, video, you will see the footage, but I'm not recording the voiceover with the footage so it may seem like it's sort of out of sync or something but just beware that this is just a commentary over the footage sort of another thing um in the last video you guys mentioned that you liked the approach i took where it was sort of straight to the point without a lot of rambling about so i will divide this video into two parts the first part i will just go over the builds and whatnot and the loadouts that i would recommend and in the second part which is you know not important you can stop watching after the first part if you don't need the extra information i will just show you some mission footage where i go in and show you how i would use the uh, loadouts I recommend but you don't have to watch that part it's just the first part that has the information the other one is just there for you know for those among you that uh, would want to actually see the builds in action another thing I would like to clarify before we get in I will not be including Harrow in this video I know what you're probably thinking you know Harrow the support frame he has healing he's pretty good for this but considering that most people are farming the faction missions to farm Harrow I don't think it would make sense to actually recommend to use Harrow to farm Harrow you know what I mean so that's why you won't be seeing Harrow in this video but if you have Harrow and are farming something else from these missions go ahead and use Harrow so without further ado let's get right into the video so since you guys most likely came here from my last video which I'm very thankful that you actually watched my first choice really hasn't changed much it's Oberon I mean Oberon just makes it very easy to maintain the health of the defectors and the only difference this time is uh, the weapon change back then we still had the good old Sinoid Simulor that was still actually worth using however sadly this is not the case anymore so for weapons I would most likely go with the Arcaplasmor because it has good room clear there's no armor in this mission so it won't struggle anyway punch through it's pretty much perfect for this mission for a secondary i will be taking the synoid gamma core because like the, sa the same reason we use the synoid simulor in the other video we need something to generate energy when we need it so we'll pop into the Sinoid Simulor. I have it modded with a bit of punch through as well, so I can just clear an entire line of infested if I need to, of course. And for melee, take anything you want really, it doesn't really matter. An Atherax, a Glaive, try and synergize it depending on the frame that you use. So that's Oberon covered. Now, since it would be pointless to make a video to say exactly the same thing, I have compiled a list of other frames that would actually be very very useful in defection and it's not just uh, oberon that's really good there even in solo i mean first we have cora cora has amazing amazing cc if modded for maximum range her two can pull enemies even through walls well not pull them through walls but can grab onto them through walls and you know combined with the arcoplasmor and her one even though at m minimum strength her one is actually very damaging you can actually clear rooms very very fast also Korra, even though the effect of it is very minimal has venari who you can just tell to go and heal the defectors if you need to you won't need to but uh, if you need to the downside with Korra is that her healing is not too strong and is only single target so you'll have to wait by the life support towers to heal your defectors before moving on unlike Oberon who can just go put his regen on and just move them forward as fast as he can another good frame to use for defection surprisingly is Gara. Gara, Gara her augment for splinter storm is extremely underrated 
you can put the 90% damage reduction on top of the defectors and then, depending on how many defectors you put Splinter Storm on, the stronger they will be healed over time. So, you know, there's nothing to explain here really. It's just you give them a lot of damage reduction and an okay amount of health regen. And let's not forget that Gara also scales her damage very, very well, especially against unarmored targets. So there's that. And she can also sort of block out areas of the map with her four. So, you know, that's uh, Gara. Another useful one is Knight Equinox. Um, you're probably thinking, Knight, what about they? You know, you can just kill the infested. No. What you need to do is take Knight Equinox. And from my testing, it seems that if you put the augment for her three, which is Peaceful Provocation, you can slow the enemies down uh, as well as reduce their damage if they're within the circle. Meaning that, you know, if you stay next to the defectors, you would be able to just give them effectively damage reduction. You can use her too to just put them to sleep, which is 100% damage reduction. And her four, you can use it to just pump out large amounts of healing to the, uh, to the defectors. The downside for using Equinox is that you have to pretty much sniff their asses because your uh, heal does not have an infinite range and the heal is not that sort of consistent as well because uh, it's sort of a burst heal not a heal over time and also the value depends on I think how much damage you deal but I'm not entirely sure or on how much damage you receive something like that so the next uh, frame is obviously the queen of support in warframe trinity and there's not much to explain here bless is amazing well there is something that i uh, should point out about bless is if you cast it you cannot recast it on the defectors before the timer runs out so you cannot refresh it on them so you sort of have to again keep following them trinity's advantage is that you can use another secondary whose purpose is not necessarily to give you energy um because she has energy vampire and if you kill them while energy vampire is on them even with maximum duration the bursts of energy will just be released all at once so you don't really need the synoid gamma core here but you know do whatever you like another weird but I'm surprised not many people know about this yet, kind of loadout, is Umbra. More specifically, Umbra's passive, along with the Vazarin operator. Now, Vazarin... The, the, foc the choice of focus cool you use with this, I mean, depends on your builds and your uh, loadouts and your style, but... Umbra and Vazarin is actually a very good combination because you can, once you leave Umbra, he's, he uses his abilities and the, your Arca Plasmor, if you have the or the Comb, Comb is another good weapon, to snipe down enemies, the infested. You can also damage the enemies with your Amp and your Void Blast, should you need to, and your Void Dash in Vazarin grants immunity, burst healing and a percentage regen over time to anything, to any ally. So you can use your dash to heal both Umbra and the defectors. And the operator dash is very fast so you can get around in the back very quickly. So, now, some honorable mentions to the list. We have Miss Mesa and Miss Saren. If you are willing to stick by the healing towers and not just rush the uh, defectors to the end, there's a lot of merit when it comes to taking a DPS frame that is co as consistent as Mesa and Saren. M Mesa also has the advantage of using shooting gallery to stun the nearby infested if she walks along with the uh, defectors even though they'll probably be dead anyway the enemies but whatever so there's merit to saying you would like to get a dps frame another frame that could potentially be useful is revenant here because he has such a wide aoe good defensive skills good mobility with his dash and i'm not sure if it's working right but it, i don't think reaving with mesmer skin through the defectors is giving them that buff that they should get I'm not entirely sure, but it doesn't seem like it's doing so. But w what Revenant has is that he, at least the way I play him, his abilities are actually quite efficient, so you can again take Vezarin with you to heal the defectors. And yeah, that's pretty much it. 
So if you guys are signing off, see you next time. Feel free to rate, comment, and tick the notification button to be notified of future uploads. And for those of you who are staying, you are welcome to stay. And let's move on to the mission footage. Located the first group of survivors. Find them and escort them to the waiting transport. The Atlas mission is airborne and it's slowly killing the crew. The med boosters scattered throughout the ship are their only hope of survival. You may use this console to send a signal that you want the survivors to pray. more survivors. Success, a group of crew members has reached the transport. Your betrayal breeds fire into my soul. I will find you, Cavor. <laughs> Poor Cavor, the Tenno led me right to you. We've decided you're bad for business. survivors to move on. Rescued. Keep up. The infestation is growing more aggressive with each passing minute. Head to extraction when you can no longer guarantee the crew's safety. More survivors. Keep them safe. Survivors have just reached the safety of our transport. Keep them coming. The scattered survivors of this infestation have barricaded themselves in safe areas throughout this galleon. Escort the crew to the waiting section. Don't be alarmed by the crew. They're grenade defectors rescued by Steel Meridian, but too broken to join their ranks. Instead, they banded together in search of a more peaceful life. They call themselves Kavor. Located the first group of survivors. Find them and escort them to the waiting transport. The Galleon's atmosphere has become toxic. Or kill the crew members within minutes. Their only hope is the med boosters, but you must keep them powered. The survivors will never reach the transport without them. Use this comms console to rush out more survivors. Survivors know you're ready to keep moving. for more survivors. Survivors have just reached the safety of our transport. Keep them coming. You, Cavill, are a mistake. A factory malfunction. Your pacifism, nothing more than a defect. 
Survivor has safely reached the ship. There are still survivors to be evacuated, but this operation is becoming increasingly risky. You have permission to seek extraction when you feel it can no longer protect the crew. I found a new group of survivors. Survivors has escaped. Station have barricaded themselves in safe areas throughout this galaxy. Escort the crew to the waiting escape ship. Don't be alarmed by the crew. Their crew defectors rescued the Meridian, but too broken to join their ranks. Instead, they banded together in search of a more peaceful life. They call themselves Kavor. <laughs> located the first group of survivors. Find them and escort them to the waiting transport. The galleon's atmosphere has become toxic. It will kill the crew members within minutes. The only hope is the med boosters, but you must keep them powered. The survivors will never reach the transport with them. To use this comms console to rush out more survivors. Look more dramatic. Ah, oh, that helps. Tenno, show me the way. Wash it off! Crew. A group of survivors has escaped. <laughs> Found you. When you're ready to I live. Go with you? Okay. <coughs> Look more than Evacuated. The infestation is growing more aggressive with each passing minute. Head to extraction when you can no longer guarantee the crew's safety. Another group of defectors needs an escort. Survivors have just reached the safety of our transport. Keep them coming. I will never stop hunting you. survivors of this infestation have barricaded themselves in safe areas throughout this galleon. Escort the crew to the waiting escape ship. Don't be alarmed by the crew. They're Grenier defectors, rescued by Steel Meridian, but too broken to join their ranks. Instead, they've banded together in search of a more peaceful life. They call themselves Kavor. For the tenor.
located the first group of survivors. Find them, escort them to the waiting transport. The Galleon's atmosphere has become toxic. Kill the crew members within minutes. Their only hope is the med boosters. Just keep them powered. The survivors will never reach the transport without them. Use this comms castle to rush out more survivors. Oh, too many noises. Additional crew. Survivors have just reached the city of our transport. Keep them coming. You devils are a mistake. A factory malfunction. Your pacifism, nothing more than a defect. Trust Tenno. Scoom. No choice. Survivors, when you're ready to move on. Seek up everywhere. There are still survivors to be evacuated, but this operation is becoming increasingly risky. You have permission to seek extraction when you feel you can no longer protect the crew. More survivors. Keep them safe. Success. A group of crew members has reached the train. Scattered survivors of the station have barricaded themselves in safe areas throughout the galleon. This crew to the waiting station. The crew here are four defectors. Grenier who rejected the violence they were created for. Rather than join the they have chosen a different path, seeking a dream of existence where they would not be forced to commit more atrocities. Transfer still Located the first group of survivors. Find them and escort them to the waiting transport. The galleon's atmosphere has become toxic. It will kill the crew members within minutes. Their only hope is the med boosters. Must keep them powered. The survivors will never reach the transport without them. Use this comms castle to rush out more survivors. More survivors. Success. A group of crews has reached the transport. Not even Tarno will keep you safe. Cavour betrayed your post. Betrayed your comrades. Betrayed me. Your punishment. Endless suffering. Look. Tell the survivors when you're ready to move on. I do go. <laughs> A group of 
of survivors has escaped. The infestation is growing more aggressive with each passing minute. Head to extraction when you can no longer guarantee the crew's safety. Survivors are trying to get to the transport. They aren't without your help. Crew member rescue the scattered survivors of this infestation have barricaded themselves in safe areas throughout this galleon. Escort the crew to the escape ship. Don't be alarmed by the crew. Their crew defectors rescued by Scorpion, but too broken to join their ranks. Instead, they banded together in search of a peaceful life. They call themselves Kavor. I've located the first group of survivors. Find them and escort them to the waiting transport. The Galleon's atmosphere has become toxic. It will kill the crew members within minutes. Their only hope is the med boosters, but you must keep them powered. The survivors will never reach the transport without them. Use this comms console to rush out more survivors. More sickness coming! Locating more survivors. Success. A group of crew members has reached the transport. I will remember what you did here today, Tenno. Ram, infested Sakat's who <laughs> found you. More Sakat coming. Tell the survivors when you're ready to spawn. is growing more aggressive with each passing minute. Head to extraction when you can no longer guarantee the crew's safety. Another group of defectors needs an escort. Survivors have just reached the safety of our transport. Keep them coming. ...have barricaded themselves in safe areas throughout the galleon. Escort the crew to the police station. Don't be alarmed by the crew. They're bringing defectors rescued by Skilderian. Too broken to join their ranks. Instead, they banded together in search of a more peaceful life. They call themselves Kavor. Survivors, find them and escort them to the waiting transport. The galleon's atmosphere has become toxic. It will kill the crew members within minutes. Their only hope is the med boosters, but you must keep them powered. The survivors will never reach the transport without them. You may use this console to send a signal that you want the survivors to hurry. needs power cells. Four survivors. Success. A group of crew members has reached the transport. 
station is growing more aggressive with each passing minute to extraction when you can no longer guarantee the crew's safety. I found a group of survivors. Survivors have just reached the safety of the transport. Keep them coming. <laughs> 